Hello friends, today we are going to see the principal operation of an actuator and based upon that what are the principal behind it. So before starting the selection of actuator we have to know what are the basic definition of an actuator on what principle the actuator is working and the details of the actuator working with their principles. Now we start with the selection of actuator based on the principle of operation. See the simple definition of actuator if you consider is a convert energy into motion. So we can consider an energy can be a voltage or energy can be a current that means a electrical signals and the motion can be a linear motion or an angular motion. So simply a convert electrical signal into a motion where it motion can be linear or it can be angular. So next part it can be used to apply a force an actuator typically is a mechanical devices that makes energy usually energy that is created by air electricity or the liquid means what if we consider convert energy into motion that energy can be air electricity or the liquid as i am saying earlier the electricity signal can be voltage or can be current in the same way the energy can be air or the liquid also and it converted into particular motion so as you know there are different type of motion also so what are the different type of motion it can be linear motion it can be rotary motion or it can be oscillatory motion now the actuator requires control signal and the source of energy that depending upon the receiving control signal actuator responds by converting energy into mechanical motion so the control signal makes an important role for the input side of the actuator now control system can be simple a simple control system is a fixed mechanical system or a fixed electrical system or the another type of a control system can be a software based so what are the software based control input to the actuator is printer driver and robot control systems in the same way the simple input from the human is can be considered as a control input to the actuator here is a simple block diagram of an actuator where energy and the input signal are applying at the same time to the actuator and the output of an actuator is a motion the motion or it can be force again i am repeating that the energy can be electrical energy can be liquid or energy can be air and that can be considered as an input signal to the actuator and the output is in force or output as in motion the motion can be linear motion can be angular or motion can be circular so the actuator types is the most important phenomena let's consider with the understanding different type of actuator with the functions and the applications so the type of actuator are dividing into various types depending on their functions and their applications so the type of actuator can be electrical actuator hydraulic actuators pneumatic actuators as i am saying earlier that there are various input signal applying to the actuators the signal can be electrical so electrical actuators the signal can be air so 
the hydraulic actuators or the input signal can be liquid that's why pneumatic actuators so electrical actuators are again divided into dc servo motor ac motor the stepper motor these are the general example of the actuator where electrical signal are used now hydraulic actuator use hydraulic fluid to amplify the control command signals in the same way in pneumatic actuator a compressed air makes an important role to command and control signal here is some examples of the actuators here is dc servo motor ac servo motor and stepper motor hydraulic actuator you have seen here and the pneumatic actuator is here now this is not the only type of actuator other than this there are also various type of actuator is present like mechanical actuators thermal or magnetic actuators soft actuators com drive and piezoelectric actuator we will see as we are going on the details of other than these actuators now we will start with the hydraulic actuators so what is a hydraulic actuator it is the actuator that convert mechanical motion into linear rotary or the oscillatory motion that means what a simple mechanical motion converted into various type of motion that is linear that is the angular or that can be oscillatory motion you can know very well that the motion of a linear it can be two way direction that is either it is in forward or it can be a backward in the same way the rotary motion that is it is also called an angular motion from circular way it can be clockwise or it can be anti clockwise so clockwise or anti clockwise it is happened with the rotary motion in the same way oscillatory motion can be considered it is fixed type and it is moving from this direction or it can be moved to this direction and this is the various type of motion the simple hydraulic actuators that convert mechanical energy into various type of motion now the move to the next part that's the hydraulic actuator consist of cylinder or a fluid motor which uses hydraulic power to help mechanical operation so for performing mechanical operation we require simply a cylinder which consist of fluid of motor which uses hydraulic power that is the most important thing and then liquid are nearly impossible to compress as you know very well so the hydraulic actuator maintain a considerable force a limited acceleration of actuator restrict its usage the simple example or you can say the application of a hydraulic actuator that is used in a brake of the vehicle most of the times a heavy vehicle whatever the brake are using that can be a hydraulic brake now the next part is a pneumatic actuator a pneumatic actuator a converts energy form by a vacuum or the compressed air and at a high pressure it converted into linear or a rotary motion the important thing is that it converted by the vacuum or the compressed air and converted into linear or the rotary motion they are responsible to convert pressure into force so the advantage of the pneumatic actuator is first the pneumatic energy response quickly 
to the start and the stop signal. Other than the hydraulic actuators, pneumatic actuators respond quickly start and stop signal. It does not require power source to be stored in the reserve for its operation. So, not required power source to store in a reserve operation. Third advantage is pneumatic actuator produces large force from relatively small pressure. The example of a pneumatic actuator is a rack and pinion actuators used for wall control of pipes. Pneumatic brakes are very responsible to the small pressure changes applied to the driver. So, there are two types of brake also used in various vehicles that is the hydraulic type and the pneumatic type. But when a pneumatic type of actuator you are using a small changes in the brake makes a large change as an output side. So most of the times the high speed vehicle or the loaded speed vehicle are using in that particular vehicles pneumatic actuator are used for the brake system. Now, the third part of the type of the actuator is an electrical actuator. Simple, it's powered by the motor which convert electrical energy into mechanical torque. Electrical actuator converts electrical energy into mechanical torque. A mechanical torque we consider as a force. So, as you know, various way, there are various type of motion and this is considered as an angular motion. Electrical energy is used to actuate equipments. For example, solenoid wall, which control water flow in a pipes with response to electrical signals. So, in industrial application where Liquid, so liquid and solid phenomenon is very important to fill up particular production plant. So in pro pro production plant, when a liquid is to be filled in particular various areas, in this part, solenoid wall makes an important role and this is a simple example of electrical actuator which is controlled by electrical signal. So the advantage of this actuator is very cheap. It can be easily clean and the speed type of the actuator is very high. Now the example is solenoid based electrical bell ringing mechanism. Here is the electrical bell and the solenoid wall is used for the electrical bell ringing sync system. So, mechanical actuator converts rotary motion into linear motion. The most common example of this mechanical actuator is rack and pinion mechanism. As you seen in the picture, so pinion, pinion is in way of motion in circular way. It is also called rotary motion. So when it is moved to the clockwise, when it is moved to the clockwise, the motion of a rack is in forward direction or you can consider as a backward direction. In the same way, when the pinion is moving, anti-clockwise that is anti-clockwise then the motion of a rack is in forward direction so it consists of where it is used of the mechanical actuator it is used in the gears pulley rails chain and other devices for its operation so Crankshift is an another example of a mechanical actuator. So understand the concept of mechanical actuator. 
that is the simple way when pinion is moving in the clockwise then rack is moving in the backward direction in the same way when pinion is moving on the anti clockwise direction then a rack is moving on the forward direction now next part is an another type of sensor so what is that that is a thermal and or it can be magnetic sensor here is the pictorial view of the thermal or magnetic actuator with the cross section area so we will see the details about about that actuators this actuator can be actuated by the application of thermal or the mechanical energy so the everywhere one energy converted into another energy here is thermal or the magnetic energy makes an important role this actuator uses shape memory materials for example shape memory alloy the example of thermal magnetic actuator is a thermal memory alloy the advantage of this actuator it is a compact very light in weight economically it is very effective offers a high power density so its a power density is very high and it is light in weight and also the cost is very less the example of thermal and magnetic actuator is a thermostat and magnetic actuator example is electromagnet now next part is a soft actuator so what is a soft actuator it is basically a new phenomenon for your side so we will see in details what is a soft actuator it is a polymer based designed to handle fragile objects this type of object is mainly used for the robotic purposes and artificial intelligence so like fruit harvesting in agriculture or the manipulating the internal organs in the biomedicines so in the biomedicine when the artificial intelligence used in the robotic system this soft actuator are used the example is shape memory polymer and the photopolymers these are the examples and the new things you have to know about so, so we will start what is the shape memory polymer so the shape memory polymer is a function similar to our muscle it provides response to the range of stimulus for example light electrical heat magnetic ph moisture changes so what are the physical parameter we can consider that is also a one of the part in the sensor that is sensed here by the shape memory polymer so the advantage of such polymer is low density high strength recover biocompatibility and biodegradability the photopolymers are also known as light activated polymers they are special type of shape memory polymer which are activated by the light stimuli so let's see one of the pictorial view of the shape memory polymer that we can understand how it will be work here is the programming part through which shape memory polymer is program and after that it can be converted in its own shape with the day 1 day 2 up to day 4 and after that some after some days it can be converted into day 7 so some shape is required with consider with our muscles working the shape memory polymer is also done with the light stimuli so the activated part with the light stimuli is important 
इट कैन बी लाइट इट कैन बी वर्क विद द हीट और इट कैन बी वर्क विद द मैग्नेटिक एंड पी एच मॉइस्चर चेंजेस ऑल्सो सो हियर इज वेरियस वर्किंग और द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ द एक्चुएटर एंड हियर वी एंड आवर टॉपिक थैंक यू